that. Um, oh, one other thing I forgot completely. Traditional grip players. I'm not as good at, at it this way, but... Alright, the whip still goes like this. Only, instead of, uh, well, you go out and it kind of going around like that. And then I loosen my thumb to let the sink go up. Just go for two bounces. And then the third bounce on the up. And then like the other one, uh, you don't always go like this. Sometimes you do a little faster, so you're just moving your forearm. And then, notice, when I move just my forearm, it turns. motion is down, tap, up. So your hand is moving this way the whole time, and that just starts over. So those are a uh, few things to work on. Do that. But, for some reason, when I try to do that in my left hand, in this position, I always just end up doing open-close because it feels weird, so. But, I don't know. I hope this helped somehow. Now, applications to the drum set are, there's a lot of them. I already explained the using two in a pumping motion on the hi-hat or on the cymbal. You can use threes on the cymbal. And then paradiddles on the drum set using the whip and rebound. You can do some one-handed stuff like uh, It's hard to explain other ways I use it because I don't really think too much, it just kind of happens. So if you work on this technique enough, I can pretty much guarantee you your playing will become more loose and relaxed and you'll probably play at least a little bit faster. I'm not going to guarantee you're going to triple your speed like some other people say, but you will see some increase because of being more comfortable and relaxed playing instead of trying to play every single note like you will just be 
nice and, you know, just relaxed. time when I think of something else to make another video about. So keep drumming.